Now, President Akufuado is expected to later this afternoon meet leadership of organized labor over the threat of his strike. Labor said October 10 as date to lay down all tools to compel government to take decisive action against illegal miners. The president, who's been heavily criticized by silence, has however thrown an invitation to the labor group seeking to engage them over the demands which include a complete ban on all small-scale mining activity and the declaration of a state of emergency. Daniel Opoku is our Labour Affairs correspondent. He's the one individual that we should be speaking to right now in relation to that meeting by, between Labour and the presidency. He's joined us in the studio. Daniel, quickly, mm -hmm. what time are we looking at this meeting that's been called? Right, so they, they began a meeting this morning around 10 and it spanned up to 11.50, where they were able to conclude the meeting. And in the meeting this, this morning, actually, we had the, the Secretary General of TUC, who is also the spokesperson of organized labor, Mr. Joshua Ansar, being part of the meeting as a leader of the delegation. Mm. Also have his deputy, Dr. Kwabla Nyakuo, too. Then you have other hosts of general secretaries who joined his Secretary General to be with the president to discuss the issues about um, the petition that they have presented. Now, they went, when, they went, when they went to the meeting, they tabled another petition. President should ban the small scale mining and also illegal mining. Then all activities on the mining front should be brought to a halt. These are the issues that they have tabled before the president. And my understanding is that it's something that the president is likely to consider, where he has requested for some time for him to be able to, to look at that. Well, let's not forget that we have up to next week, Thursday, to prevent an impending nationwide strike. So the president has from this afternoon up to next week, Wednesday, to be able to engage with Labour to resolve the problem. It is, the strike is still on the table. Mm. That the leadership of organized the right after meeting the president, may by close of day that today or tomorrow, should be able to meet the entire membership and communicate to them what the president has said. They're also expecting a concrete firm information from the president by close of day today, indicating the next move that the president would want to do before next week Thursday. And so the meeting has happened. The president has asked Labour for a lot more time. Labour has included an additional request, which is a complete cessation of mining. Does it include the big mining firms, or this has mainly to do with just small-scale mining activities in the country? Now, when, when, when we read the content of organized Labour statement, it talks about ban all small-scale mining activities mm. and also illegal mining activities. That is exactly what has been captured in the statement, and that is exactly what has been tabled to the president. So what, that's based on that, that's what the president is, is, is looking at. And he has to even solve the problem. Because by next week, if you don't solve the problem, we really have a problem in Amawena. We are talking about over 700,000 people going on nationwide strike. Public sector public workers sector, Just for the public sector. Private sector could come in at, at some point. Exactly. And, we, and also we have those for the private sector being led by the industrial and commercial workers, you know, a chunk of their members are in the private formal. One of the private formal, for instance, like TV, three people who come here, and also those in the informal economy or are likely to join in this whole strike and order. So if government does not step in immediately, if the president does not act for the obvious, you have a problem. I see the president giving a firm conclusion by close to adopt today. So going forward, from where I sit, I don't anticipate the strike happening. Once you meet the president, one, it betrays good faith when you embark on a strike, means that you don't respect what the president told you. So mm -hmm. I, I see the president being able to resolve the problem. National Labor Commission has also stepped in. They are also likely to meet the leadership of organized labor, especially when they invoked the strike bait or the strike mandate of the LNRC. And that's also step in. And by close of this week, hopefully early parts of next week, we should have a resolution to the matter. And so Labor was satisfied with the meeting with the president and the assurances that the president provided to them today. Well, well the leadership when they appear satisfied. But when you come and brief your constituents, what they tell you will be the direction you have to take. Now they may have to meet the entire constituents to be able to convince them exactly what the president has told them, then they'll know the next line of action. Some of the questions that we anticipate being asked by their members has to do with, for instance, we said the issue about the DDEP, where they have to meet the president and it is needs to concrete the sale of the Senate agreement, the same problem. And now they have seen the president for the third time within the space of just about close elections, they have seen the president on this particular matter. If they are not able to convince their, their, their membership or their constituents, then they'll push them to embark on a strike. But looking at the strength and the composition of the leadership that made the president, they are likely to convince their constituents for them to buy into what the president said. So, and the moment they're able to do that, then they'll be timelines as to when this particular position should be implemented. Right then, Daniel, uh, thank you very much.